the O'Reilly Factor is probably the perfect example of everything that's wrong with Fox News Channel. You have stories that are selected primarily to upset liberals and, and Democrats and prop up the Republican Party. You have a hostility towards guests that disagree with the host. And you have a host who, in service of his conservative politics, will, will distort facts, will misrepresent things, and uh, will, in some cases, just fabricate. In the personal story segment tonight, we were surprised to find out that an American who lost his father in the World Trade Center attack had signed an anti-war advertisement that accused the USA itself of terrorism. Jeremy Glick is the son of a, a Port Authority worker who died in, at 9-11, and he had signed an anti-war petition, and O'Reilly had to have him on. And they were so persistent about getting me on the O'Reilly show because they found out that I was on the advisory board and signed a statement that was against the war and then I was directly impacted by 9-11. The success that I had on the O'Reilly show had to do with just practice and preparation. I taped the shows and what I did is I took a stopwatch that I used to use for running sprints in high school and I would see when he has a hostile guest and I would time how long it takes for him to cut them off. You were the only one. I was surprised and the reason I was surprised is that this ad equates the United States with the terrorists. I said I'm shocked that you're surprised and basically just made the only point I wanted to make. Our current president now inherited a legacy from his father and inherited a political legacy that's responsible for training militarily, economically, and situating geopolitically the parties involved in the alleged assassination and murder of my father and countless of thousands of others. So I don't right, see no, why it's so surprising so, for you to think right. that I would come back and want to support it is surprising, escalating and I'll Bush's tell you aggression why. I'll tell you why it's area. surprising. You are uh, mouthing a far left position. It was extremely intimidating sitting down in the studio because he's really tall. And like, dude, like he lords over you. You see, even, I'm sure your beliefs are sincere, but what upsets me is, is I don't think your father would be approving of this. Well, actually, my father um, thought right. that Bush's presidency was illegitimate. Maybe, maybe he I did, but I don't think, think he'd Bush... be equating this country as a terrorist nation. Well, I wasn't you are. saying that it was necessarily yes, you like are. that. You what signed I'm saying this and is absolutely that said in, that. Jeremy was pretty cool during it, and he was giving his political views, which were very to the left of O'Reilly's. And he said, oh, I don't really care what you think politically. And I said, obviously you do care because A, you brought me on the show and B, I told him that he uses 9-11 and sympathy with the 9-11 families and the, and the lives lost to rationalize his narrow right-wing agenda. You evoke okay. sympathy that's with the 9-11 families. That's a bunch of crap. So I've done more for the 9-11 families. families by their own admission. I've done more for them than you will ever hope to do. Okay. So you keep your mouth shut well, when you're you not sit me exploiting those people. You're I not don't. Representing and I never represent you. You know why? Why? Because you have a warped view of this world and a warped view of this country. Well, explain and that. Let me give you an no, example of parallel. I'm not going to debate parallel. this with you. Well, let me give you All an right? example of parallel ex uh, experiences. No, on hold. September 14th. Here's, 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 here's on the record. September 14th. Here's the record. Okay. Right? You didn't support the action against Afghanistan to remove the Taliban. You were against it. Why okay? would I want to brutalize and further punish the people in who Afghanistan? Who killed your father? The people who in Afghanistan didn't father. kill my father. Sure they did. The Al-Qaeda people were trained yeah, there. The Al-Qaeda people? What we're about the See, I'm more angry about it than you are. So what about George Bush? What about George Bush? He had nothing to do with it. The director, senior, as director he of the He had CIA. nothing to so do with it. the people that trained 100,000 Mujahideen Man. who were extremists. I hope your mom isn't watching this. Oh, I well, hope your mother is okay. not watching this. It's unfair for O'Reilly to evoke both my mom and my father in the interview, especially when I wasn't. You know, I mean, she, my mom is a grieving widow for a prematurely, a violent, horrific turn in their lives. My dad was only 55. He was, they were working people, you know, working class, middle class, like they were not retiring for a while, they, you know, and their life is basically destroyed. You know, their life together is destroyed and destroyed in circumstances that I wouldn't wish on uh, my worst enemies, including Bill O'Reilly. Because you that's it. I'm not going to say anymore. Okay. In respect for your father, in September 14th, do you want to know what I was up. doing? Shut up. Uh, please as don't respect, tell me to shut up. As respect, in, in respect for your father, who was a Port Authority worker, 
a fine American who got killed unnecessarily by barbarians. By radical extremists yeah, fine. trained by right. this government. Respect not for the him. people of America, I'm not the people, the ruling you. class, the small minority. Cut his mic. I'm not going to dress you down anymore. Out of respect for your father. We'll be back in a moment with oh, more of the that was, We're done? We're done. You see him gesturing to security guards. And then came the after film performance. After they're off the air, he said to the kids something effect, get out of my studio before I fing tear you to pieces. So Jeremy, and I've talked to him since, went actually went to the green room to get a cup of coffee. And the executive producer and the assistant encouraged me to leave the building because they were, quote, concerned that if O'Reilly ran into me in the hallway, he would end up in jail. This is our house here. If somebody comes to your house and begins spitting on the floor, you'd remove them. Glick was out of control and spewing hatred for this program and his country using vile propaganda. The next day, I just turned on and watched the, the follow-up and saw my views totally distorted. Next thing I know, I was saying Bush planned 9-11. Glick was saying without a shred of evidence that President Bush and Bush the Elder were directly responsible for 9-11. Now, that kind of stuff is not only loony, it's defamation. That paints me as, as a fringe conspiracy nut. This kid said nothing, nothing about President, President Bush and his father, Bush the Elder, orchestrating the attack on their own country. So O'Reilly's just lying here. He came on this program and accused President Bush of knowing about 9-11 and murdering his own father. Glick said, can I sue him? And so I called the lawyer who was in my case of Fox versus Dutton and Franken. He says, well, the kid has to prove that O'Reilly knew he was lying. And O'Reilly is so crazy, he lies so pathologically that it's harder to prove that O'Reilly knew he was lying. So oddly enough, if someone has a record of crazily lying, <laughs> it is harder to sue them for defamation.